Hello, back again, DJ Vic Vapor with you at Logic Pro 10. And in this lesson, we are going to talk about editing markers. In the previous lesson, we talked about establishing markers. Now let's look at how we edit markers. So I'm going to create one long marker all the way across the project here. And let's say we need to resize that. So what we can do is I'll just create a second one and then you can see my mouse changes from this little insignia which is titled flex tool changes from the flex tool to the resize tool which is that guy right there so I can grab the end of this marker and kinda of make it whatever length I need to make it and let's say we want to just reposition it. So I'm going to grab, hover over this marker 2 that we've created. And I can just drag and let go of it in any position. I'd like to see that as well. So resize and reposition. Let me go ahead and command Z. Actually, that's what I've been doing is using command Z to get rid of everything. But what you can do is right click or control click and just go delete marker if you want to get rid of it. So another simple way of getting rid of it, delete marker. So let's say um, we create another marker here. We can let's go back to what we were looking at in the previous tutorial so I'm gonna select this doghouse beat loop region so it's shift option apostrophe that creates that marker here for us that mimics this exact region and let's say we want to copy this to another area so then it's command C for copy and I'll move the playhead to the position that I want the next copy to go so and that would be command V to release it so command C copied it put the playhead in position and command V let's try that one more time command V and that's how you copy regions and command Z to get rid of everything alright so let's look at um, another way to resize or reposition markers I'm gonna take this marker too and just move it over here what I can do is grab up here in the numbers area and drag open a section that I want maybe you know a marker to cover over that specific section so I drag whatever length I want and then I can hover over this click hold drag it down and drop it onto the marker and now you see that marker ex exactly the same area and same size as what we've selected above and that works in any way like I'll resize it to show you I'll make it smaller and then I just drag it and drop it and boom and of course we can make it bigger drag it drop it boom so another way to resize and reposition markers just by highlighting the area above here so let's see um, hmm. uh, you can also make the markers any color you would like so that is I believe let me take a look here Options, yeah option C sometimes I forget my shortcuts there's so many to remember option C brings up our um, color palette and then we can select whatever we like and close it out but you can see you can change the color of the marker any to any color you like that was option C to get that color palette up and if you double click a marker just hover over it and double click it you're gonna get the option here to retitle it so let's say intro for this guy and let's name this guy verse one of the cool things though when you look at editing 
here is if we come over this side and bring up our little um, tablet here, we can actually do more than just edit intro verse. We can actually go in here and select more detailed information. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I put some notes here, something like um, I could use an EQ on this area. What you see up here is immediately the notes that you create there become available in the markers. It can be really handy in, in big projects and you know micromanaging things if you want to be that detailed. So you hit done and of course it will stay there for you. There it is. Or you can put any note you know that's valuable to you in that area. So just another way to uh, keep things organized. So that is editing markers. Let's move on to the next tutorial where we'll take a look at how we can kind of navigate through markers.